Hi everybody, it's Georgia and I, and we're going to teach you today about fractions and using benchmark fractions to say whether a fraction is less than a half, equal to a half, or greater than a half. Georgia, you think we can do it? Hmm? Yeah? All right, Georgia says, let's do it. So today, we are going to look at a fraction. Let's say I'm going to look at the fraction 3 eighths. What I need to decide is 3 eighths lower than a half, equal to a half, or greater than a half. And the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to look at our denominator, which is the bottom number, and I'm going to think, is there a clear half of 8? Or you can divide 8 by 2, and that would get me 4. So the clear half of 8 is 4. So now what you have to ask yourself is, is your numerator greater than, less than, or equal to 4? Well, 3 is lower than 4, so 3 eighths is less than a half. All right, let's try again. You know me, I like lots of examples. Let's say that we have the fraction um, 4 sixths. I want to know if 4 sixths is less than a half, equal to a half, or greater than a half. How am I going to do this? I'm going to look at this denominator and I'm going to divide the denominator by two to see what's a half. Or if you already know it, score for you. Six divided by two, I hope you know, is three. So the clear half of six is three. So now what I have to ask myself is four less than three, equal to three, or greater than three? Well, four is greater than three. So four sixths is greater than a half. Kind of seeing what I'm doing here? All right, let's try again. Let's do, let's do six tenths. All right, so do you remember the steps? We look at our denominator and we try to find a clear half of 10. Or you can do 10 divided by two. Well, I know that a clear half of 10 is five. Now I have to look at my numerator and decide, is my numerator less than five, equal to five, or greater than five? And I know that six is greater than five, so six tenths is greater than a half. What happens if you have a denominator that doesn't have a clear half. Let's try one. Um, let's do four fifths. There is no clear half of four fifths. So I can kind of estimate or I can divide five by two. How many times would you want two to go into five? Well, I'm gonna say two because two times two is four, which leaves me one left over. So it's about, a, 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 it's not a clear half, but a half of five would be about two and a half. So now is your numerator of four less than a half, equal to a half, or greater than a half? Well, four is clearly over two and a half. So four fifths is actually greater than a half. All right, how are you feeling? You feeling okay? Let me try one more and see how you feel. See if you can do this one with me just to see if you're understanding what I'm talking about. So let's say I'm going to give you the fraction and I wanna know if this fraction less than a half, equal to a half, or greater than a half. All right, I'm going to give you the fraction of mm, eight sixteenths. Okay, do you remember the steps? The first step is to see, is there a clear half of 16 or 16 divided by two? Well, I know that 16 divided by two is eight. Uh-oh, I see something. Eight sixteenths is eight less than a half, greater than a half, or equal to a half. Well, eight is equal to eight, isn't it? So eight sixteenths is just a half. All right, 
See if you can give this a try. I have a few sample problems on um, link to this to see if that you can try it out and see if you know what I was talking about. Yesterday we did decomposing. Today we are doing benchmark fractions, trying to figure out if a fraction is less than a half, equal to a half, or greater than half. So give it a try. Um, you can always rewatch this video and I will talk to you later.